Uh, very last thing, I just want to ask you about uh, Joe Joyce here. Yeah. Start with him a couple of weeks ago. How's that going? What do you expect out of this? You know, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun with a, with a heavyweight. I, I generally don't train heavyweights, but it's been fun because he's willing to try anything I ask. Uh, we're two weeks into our, our, our working together. I think that uh, it takes time to develop the things that I want to develop, but he's got the kind of style that I like. He's aggressive, and, and that's the kind of style that I like to teach. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands how to program himself or how to set himself up in every minute of every round and every round of every fight. And he's accomplished. I mean, he won a silver medal in the Olympics. He's 5-0, I believe, right yeah, now, yes. but he started late. Yeah. So what's it like working with an older guy, he's 32, I believe, who's accomplished but yet is young in the sport? Yeah, well, he started late uh, in the sport. Consequently, the, the, the process of developing him to the point where he, he's going to be somebody he has to be quicker. Uh, it, it, um, it's not because he's used up uh, in, in fight-wise and a lot of amateur fights because he's still a young body, but he's an, old, he's an older in age. A lot of the guys that get old get old because of all the, the stuff they did prior to them turning pro. This young man is still a fresh guy, so uh, I hope that in uh, two or three years we can get to the point where we're fighting for a world title because I think that the heavyweights at 33 to 36, 37 is really where they mature, where they become better. Uh, so if that's the case, he's got a lot of work to do, but that's what we're here for. Yeah, he's been calling out a lot of these younger guys, uh, these guys just below yeah. Deontay Josh, like Big Baby Miller, people like that. Is he ready for those guys now, or does he still Well, you know, when season? you call somebody out like that, it's not a fight that's going to get made tomorrow. I would say that by the first quarter of next year, we're in, we're in that spot. We fought three times already by then, and we're in that spot. We've got three training camps under our belt, and, and those fights are uh, would be relevant, would be something that could possibly happen. but. They don't happen, you call them out today, they don't have for three or four months or five months. So uh, we have to start now to be able to have that later. So a couple of years, he's ready for the- No, I would say I would say for those guys, that, uh, the, the, the end of the next quarter of next year and in uh, the, the second quarter. Like Deontay and Josh? Oh, not for those guys. I'd say by the, by the end of the year, by the end of next year, I would want to say that he'd be ready for, but for the, for the bottom guys that you mentioned, I would say by the first or second quarter of next year.